Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. In this video, two very popular things come together, coffee and WordPress. I wanna give you a peek at a WordPress theme for coffee shops. The theme is called Coffee Shop, and it's available at templatemonster.com. I really like it for two main reasons. First one is it's unique. I think coffee shops should have attractive websites that are edgy, visual, and distinctive, and this theme definitely fits the bill. The second reason is it's simple. It should be easy for a business owner to load the demo content and edit all the text and images to give it their unique feel. So let me first show you the theme demo that's provided from templatemonster.com. And I'm on the homepage here of the coffee shop theme and right away you can see it is highly visual because it's uh, the homepage is basically two images that take up most of the screen. So you can put a left image here and a right image and then your logo will show right here. It does collapse down to the right image on mobile phones so you can easily add some social icons down here on the bottom right. So right when people land on your page, you can show some great images of your coffee shop just to give people a quick glimpse of uh, the space that you offer. And the navigation is pretty discreet on the left-hand side. You see the menus at the top left. And then this is the home link. And then if you scroll over these, it does pop up the um, menu item text. So I can click on the about page, which has a left image and then the um, content on the right so there's a image and some text testimonials that you can enter and you can scroll through them here the next page is your menu so it's a pre-formatted menu for coffee shops and i'll show you how you can edit that in the back end in just a minute the next page is a blog so you can have a blog on your uh, wordpress site using this theme pretty easily using all the uh, built-in native uh, blog functions of WordPress. So I'll show you what a single blog post looks like. The next page is galleries. This is a pretty cool uh, feature of this theme. You can easily add galleries uh, here on the right hand side. If I click on a gallery, it brings up kind of a full screen with a film strip at the bottom. People can click on. It's actually not working in the demo, not sure why. You can scroll through with these arrows. So this is a really nice gallery feature. Great way to show more pictures of your coffee shop. The last page is a contact page, which has a nice big menu, which is gonna be important for your uh, retail location, and then contact information, and then a form. So that's the whole theme, pretty simple, like I mentioned. Uh, but let me show you what the back end looks like, just so you get a quick idea of how you're gonna take this demo content once you install the theme and turn it into your own website. So once you install the coffee shop theme and have it active, the first thing you might wanna look at is theme settings under appearance in WordPress. This is gonna take you to the control panel for this coffee shop theme. There are a bunch of settings here that are gonna allow you to customize uh, how your website looks. So there's general um, tab, which includes logo, some logo settings. You can actually change that uh, the loading image, which was actually a little coffee uh, cup icon that you saw when I was showing you the demo. There's a pattern you can change. You can remove the pattern. Under home page settings, this is where you add the left and right side image. Here's where you put in your location for the Google map on the contact page. The featured image section is a default featured image that's gonna show in the left column if you don't add a featured image to a specific post or blog. Here's some settings for the galleries, including the font and the size of different headings here. This is important, you can change color, so they give you a bunch of color options. It looks like they just go by first, second, third, fourth, fifth color, so this will be an easy way for you to just change the color theme of the entire theme, maybe to match the logo that you already have for your coffee shop. So after you go through this control panel here, this theme settings panel, the next thing you'll probably want to look at is some of these items down here on the bottom of the WordPress menu. So I actually loaded the demo content, which you can do by downloading it here and then going to tools, import, and then run importer under WordPress. And you can also check the help documentation for this WordPress theme for some instructions on how to do that. But once you do that, it's gonna load all the demo content for you. So if I were to view my live site and I haven't really made any changes yet, 
Here's my left and right image, which are not customized yet. But if I was to go to the home page, here's slide four. So they're just kind of giving you instructions on which images you need to change and which ones go where. So this first section, DV galleries, is where you would actually create the galleries um, on the gallery section, the gallery page that I showed you in the demo. So on my live site, where the demo content is loaded, uh, you can go to the galleries page and see some of these different galleries are loaded, autoplay, a video gallery, page with slider, and those are connected to these galleries here. So you can create new ones and add photos to them. The next section is called sections, and it's actually where you'll go to customize some of the different sections on the site. Like here's one called about, which contains the about page uh, content. So if I were to go to about on my live site, you'll see the about us text and then testimonials. So you can actually just go in this section and change this text, and change this button here. This is a short code that creates the button. And then there's a short code here that creates the testimonial section. You can also change the uh, two featured images. And it looks like the second featured image is specifically for mobile devices. If we go back to sections, here's where you edit the menu, the blog, galleries, and contact pages. Under testimonials, you can, this is where you add your testimonials. That will show on that testimonial slider. And then your social icons can be edited under the social icons item here. So if you've used WordPress before, you're probably accustomed to using the pages often to build your site. In this case, you're not gonna be editing the pages because everything runs off a homepage template. And they describe on the help documentation uh, that you want to create a page called home page and give it the template of home page and that's going to kind of make the whole theme work and then everything else is edited from the sections tab so that is this theme in a nutshell this is the coffee shop theme available on templatemonster.com if you're interested in this theme check out the link below in the description of this video and there should be a discount code there to get 15 percent off so make sure to use that discount code when you purchase to get uh, a discount off of the current price. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Check out some of my other uh, theme reviews. I have reviewed and plan to review more uh, WordPress themes for specific industries. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and we'll see you on the next one.